Hey everybody, it's Amanda, and today we're making a whitefish chowder. This is the beginning of what I hope will be several videos with recipes that are fish focused. And I'm making them because I feel like we don't eat enough fish and fish is so good. Fish is good for you. It's inexpensive. It's a light meat. It's got so many health benefits and we just don't eat enough fish. And I think part of the reason why is because people just don't know how to cook it. So today we're going to make a white fish chowder. Now, normally I make this with cod. I don't have any cod. What I do have and what I'm trying to use up in my freezer is tilapia. So that is what we are going to use. And I will say, I also think it's a good one to use because it's normally pretty accessible to most people. You can get it really inexpensively at like Aldi or Walmart. Um, I got mine at my discount grocery store. Here's my tilapia. And here's the other great thing about this fish. It is not thawed. So if you are coming home and you forgot to take something out for dinner, super simple. Unzip the package. Go to your sink, my sink's right here. Turn on your hot water. Throw yourself a little hot water in that bag that I just unzipped. I'm letting it fill up. Here we go, full bag. We're gonna then let it sit in our sink while I prep everything else. And by the time we're ready to use the tilapia, it's gonna be thawed. Look at that, super easy. You're welcome. I just gave you an easy dinner. Not to mention the rest of the ingredients are easy too. Let me show you the ingredients. So obviously we need the tilapia, but all this is all of the ingredients that you need for the rest of this soup, which is, I mean, so basic. One onion. We'll need like three to four medium-sized potatoes that are gonna be peeled and diced. We'll do that in a second. Some heavy whipping cream, some milk, salt and pepper, a little cayenne pepper is my favorite, but you can leave that out if you want. A little parsley, you can also leave out and some butter, and now I'm getting a phone call, so let me, let me answer that. Hello? Hey. Making a video, hold on. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, while I talk to Rick, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you how to make this, so we're actually gonna take our onion, and of course, I always take the ends and the extra pieces, and I put it in the freezer, for my broth making, but we're gonna take the onion that we're gonna use and we're gonna dice it up really finely. I uh, just like small pieces of my chowder, it makes sense. So we're gonna get that cut up, cut up a little butter, go ahead and put that in the pan and get that cooking down. Once that's done, we're gonna peel our potatoes. And by the way, the full recipe is gonna be down in the description box. You don't have to worry about missing any measures. Just go ahead and look down there and you can see all the details. But we're also gonna try to finely dice our potatoes. Now I'm putting them in a bowl to the side. Um, here in a second, I'm gonna add some water to that bowl and just hold on to it. Um, and I'll keep it from browning and it'll also, I'm gonna use that water in our chowder. So I'm just cutting it all up, putting it in the bowl, and then we're gonna use that all at once. But again, the key, dice it finely. And we're just about done. Adding my water and here is our onion. Still gonna need some time to cook that down and there it is. And we're gonna add about a tablespoon of flour. We don't really want to make a true roux or a broth. We just wanna give it a little thickness and I'm gonna add all of those potatoes and then some more in the water that came with it, a little more water and we're gonna let stir that up and we're gonna cover it until those potatoes are soft. And we're gonna bring that to a boil. It usually takes about, I don't know, 10 minutes or so for those potatoes to get soft. And then, uh, then we'll be ready to add our additional ingredients. So once you push it against the side and it breaks easily, you know the potatoes are ready. So we are ready to add our extra ingredients. I have a tablespoon of parsley, about a half teaspoon, no more, of cayenne pepper. And we're just gonna go ahead and lay our fish right on top. Now, this is, this is the key. You don't wanna stir up the fish or the milk or the heavy cream when you add it. So we just lay the fish on top. You can see that it's boiling, but once we add all of these, the boil is gonna come down because you do not want it boiling. We add our butter, we add our heavy cream, we add our milk, and as soon as we do that, we're gonna put the lid on and just let it almost simmer. 
okay? We're gonna, we're gonna let it almost sit or put the lid on and check it just once or twice just to make sure that it's not actually boiling. It's just staying warm. So while that is cooking, I just wanna tell you that I am doing this fish series, like I said, because I think you need fish recipes, but also I wanna to mention to you while I'm at it that Butcher Box, you guys, you know I love Butcher Box, they are having a huge sale for the next few days. It's from now until March 27th, and if you purchase Butcher Box, if you sign up, you get two pounds of salmon. Two pounds of salmon with every box for the next month, for every month for the year. That's 24 pounds of free salmon. You guys, I don't know if you have purchased salmon lately, but let me just tell you, that's an insane deal. Like, I, I can't even believe that they're offering such a good deal, and that's definitely why I wanted to share it with you, because um, salmon, for one thing, you know, I'm all about butcher box, and I'm all about how I use them to get meats that I can't get myself, you know, high quality meats, and you know, fresh salmon is kind of hard to come by in Western North Carolina, good quality fresh salmon. So having it delivered to my door, is amazing and I've had their salmon before I've had their cod before and their fish is amazing and frankly this soup that I'm making with tilapia is a it's a white fish soup I totally would have preferred to make it with cod if I had any but I need to get some but that being said butcher box this sale is a really really great deal and if you have trouble getting quality meats it's super easy this way, delivered to your door. And um, with the prices being what they are, you guys, this <laughs> sometimes people talk about the pricing. Listen, if you're out there shopping for high quality meats, if you can find them, the prices keep going up and up. And you don't even have to spend your gas on this, which is, I mean, practically gold right now. So I'm just throwing it out there. If you were thinking about Butcher Box, if you are a fish lover like me, this is a really, really great time to sign up. 24 pounds of free salmon not all at once you know two pounds with every box for a year but my soul that is that is a great deal so i'm just throwing it out there i got an affiliate link in my description box if you want to check that out but i love telling you about a good deal this is a good deal this is a great deal you want to check it out put your box all right let's wait on this fish and we'll be done all right, so you can see now we, the fish kind of kind of steamy, but the fish is cooked through. And look at that beautiful bowl, just plating it up. So simple, so easy. You guys are going to love this. Check out those cheddar biscuits. It's great. Y'all, I'm gonna tell you right now. Like, you cannot go to a restaurant and get anything better than that like for real you you can make this at home it you saw that it is not complicated it's not complicated you can make that and feel like you're gourmet i i got no words for you i'm telling you right now this this is restaurant quality it's restaurant quality it's hot though give me, give me a second Mm. Girl. I got I got to clap for myself on that one. That's ridiculously good. And let's not forget my cheddar bay biscuit, right? Mm. I'm going to have a recipe for those for you tomorrow cuz you you need Look at this. You need this in your life. You need that. If you're making fish, you need a bay biscuit. Oh, y'all. Mmm. There is no reason not to make this. You don't have to worry about thawing anything. Did you see how inexpensive and simple those ingredients were? You probably got them in your pantry right now. This is amazing. Make it. You're going to feel like you're at a restaurant. You're gonna be so proud of yourself. Your whole family is gonna be proud of you. You are going to go to my description box and see my PO box. And then you are going to go to the store and get a card. And you're gonna write me a handwritten note and say, Amanda, you have changed my whole life. And then you are going to go and send that to me 
you know, and say, I have to send this. Amanda needs to hear this. That is how much this soup and these biscuits are going to change your life. You're welcome. You're welcome. So anyway, I'm going to eat this. So, like, <laughs> y'all don't even know. You do not even know. I'm telling you, try it. Try it. Try it. You will thank me. Don't, if somebody tells you you don't like fish, give them this. Mmm. 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 It makes me want to sing an 80s love song, but I'm not going to. So anyway, <laughs> that's that. Come back tomorrow, you can see my cheddar ray biscuits, and it's amazing. Thank you so much for joining me. Keep watching, I'll be sharing with you some more fish recipes. Don't forget to check out ButcherBox and get take advantage of that deal. Anyway, that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.